Cool. How are you feeling, mate? First, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone, and um, it's awesome to be on board. I think he provides good value down back. Um, that's who I've gone for at the moment. But we've also noticed with some keepers from the premium side, such as Chelsea with Mendiata, it's an attractive 5.0 price tag. Now, Oli did forget to mention this Man City player in terms of the slots you can have. Let's not go past the Nordic meat shield. Now, if you haven't watched Troy Hawk's video, <laughs> Erling Haaland. Dominant in the Bundesliga last season, scoring 47 goals in 48 league matches. We go to his teammates in Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden relatively quickly. Firstly, with the Belgian, we know what we're going to expect from this guy. In the last three game weeks, he's, had, he's produced five assists. And according to the stats, he's turning, he's tickling on the points well. He's top for expected assists with an XA of 4.72. He's actually in your team. I was going to say Alexander Arnold being point one off, but I like the look of Andy Robertson. Yep, I think he has yep. a good record, especially against Crystal Palace, who it's his first of his double game week opponents this coming weekend, and being at home to Wolves as well holds a good track record against him too. My second question to you is more so back into your home state now too uh, for Ghana and uh, participating in the upcoming World Cup in Qatar. What's your prospects for them? How do you reckon they were going at? Yeah, we, we've had an up and down sort of qualifications. Uh, we know Arsenal are very fantasy relevant at the moment. We know Manchester United are. Now, if you have players who have more favourable fixtures as opposed to, for example, Man United defenders, would you feel the other defenders with more favourable fixtures over them? Because I know some managers are like me have simply got Newcastle, Arsenal and Man United defenders and you're just going to pile, of, pile all of them onto the field. But we're talking about Marcus Rashford here, who has returned in 14 of his last 16 games in all competitions. Speaking of FPL, in his last six games, he scored 60 points, which is the most of any player in that time. One love, one heart, let's get together and can will be all right. At Palace Fulham, I, th I see it being a goal fest. Both sides love to attack. Palace tend to play a lot better at home too. For Arsenal and West Ham, quietly, it seems to be a game where I think Arsenal may find a way to concede, but still find a way to win.